Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to acclimate coral. Now this also goes along with how to acclimate fish. Some people say you can just actually take coral and throw it in your tank, but many people will say to acclimate it uh, just like I'm going to show here. Uh, with any new tank mate, whether it be a fish, anemone, plant, coral, invertebrate, uh, acclimation is always important to make sure that they have the least stress when getting into your aquarium. So what I've done here is I have two corals, two coral bags here, and they've got open tops. And what I'm going to do is, I just open the bags, they're from the fish shop, and the coral's down there in the bottom. What I'm going to do is, every about five minutes, I'm going to take a little bit of water, and I'm going to put it into the bags. Now, you want to put about one-eighth the amount of water that's in the bag into the bag every time. So you're going to add water. I just add water to each bag. Five minutes later, I'll repeat this process until the bag is mostly full. When I get the bag to mostly full, I'll show you what I do next. All right, so now my bags are more full. I'm just going to show a demonstration on one of the bags here. It's not completely full, but it's getting close. Well, it's not even half full, but that's, the, that's beside the point. Basically, what I'm saying is you want to get it mostly full. And um, now what we have basically is a mixture of half tank water and half store water. Because I had it only about up to here when I started, now it's all the way up to here. So I've got a mixture of half tank and half store water. So now what I'm going to do is i got this bucket on the ground here, and I'm going to pour out a majority of this water. A little more. What we're left with is this. Not very much. Okay, now what we're going to do is put this bag back in the tank to sit and float. Oop, dog toy. So now that we emptied the bag and I got it floating again, it's got very little water in it as we showed a second ago. What we're going to keep doing now is we're going to continue to add water into this bag and the other one until they are about as full as they were before I emptied them. So now we have almost all, oops, spilled a little, almost all tank water in there. So once we fill these up now to about the level they were before, then we'll be done. And I'll show you what we do from there. So every five minutes, put some more water in the bags until you got a good amount of water in there. So you pretty much changed over now to your tank water from the store water. You slowly change that water from the store water into your water. Um, so once we get those bags filled up, I'll show you the next step. All right, so now we're ready for the final step. And what we're going to do here is we're ready to put the new tank mates in. Now, whether these are fish, corals, anything, uh, what you're going to want to do is not put the water into your tank. Because even though you put basically all tank water in there now, you still have a little store water in there. So you're going to want to not add the water to your tank. If you're going to be doing a fish, uh, you can net the fish out of the bag with a standard uh, fish tank net, you know, something like this. Just put it in the bag, grab your fish, and then put it into the tank. Uh, you can do that with, uh, you know, the corals and everything too. Some creatures, like lots of invertebrates, some fish even, and corals, many people say you don't want to let them touch air. So what I like to do is I'm just going to take out one of the bags of coral I have here, put it in my tank. One more thing before we go on. You want to dim your tank lights. As you can see, these are just blue lights. I've got my regular lights and my blue lights. If you don't have blue lights, just turn off your tank lights. When you put in a new tank mate, you want to have your lights off. It, it reduces stress to have it be a darker environment. And corals, it's especially important as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my bag in the water here. And then underwater, I'm going to reach my hand in. And I'm going to get the, uh, the coral out. Then I'm going to keep the bag above water. And then I'm going to go ahead and just place my coral where I want it in the tank. This guy I'm just going to put right in the middle here. And now I'm going to pull out my bag. And as you can see, the water is still in the bag. So I'm going to throw the bag in my sink real quick. And I'm going to do the same for the next one. Put the bag in the tank here, underwater. A little bit of the water might mix because I'm doing this underwater, so a little bit of the water might be able to move around. But doing it basically underwater just so the 
coral never touches air. Pull the coral out of the bag. I've got him out of the bag now. And I'm gonna place this guy, can barely reach it, over here. And then pull my bag out and put that in the sink. Drip a little water on the ground, but no big deal. And uh, then you can reposition if you want to know. This coral's probably going to move around a little bit. It's not held in place. It's just a rock on a rock. That guy should stay there. It's pretty, uh, pretty held in. And they can uh, attach to the new rock as they expand. And then you're going to want to leave your tank light off for a while. Or like I said, if you've got blue lunar lights, you can leave them on. But uh, leave the tank lights off for a while so you get used to the lighting. And uh, that's how you acclimate new fish, coral, invertebrates, anything. And uh, it'll improve your uh, success rate at getting them into the tank. So uh, good luck with your fish keeping, and if you guys have any questions, just let me know. See you guys later.